It's Bing Crosby and the Music Hall with Bing's special guest, Johnny Mercer. Hey, friend. Mm. That's a pretty powerful set you got there. That show's been off the air for 15 years. Some of those signals are still floating around up there, Bing. <laughs> you mean they're still orbiting, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess it's all right for them to come down now. I think, I think the heat's off. <laughs> Radio is the good life, Bing. Oh, yeah. Relaxed, no makeup. Yeah, wasn't it beautiful? Yeah. Never had to worry about what you're going to wear at the studio. Oh, it was all so informal. Yeah, I never wore a whole suit in those days, John. Yeah. Just casual, all the way casual. I remember I used to get up in the morning, I'd put on my chartreuse pullover, yeah. you know, with the orange checkered dickey, mm -hmm. a pair of conservative culottes, my open-toed sandals. Man, I was away in Wigan. <laughs> I remember seeing that outfit from the air. Whatever happened to it? Well, you know, John is still around the house. Yeah. I had it bronze. It's resting right next to Gary's baby shoe. Oh, Mr. Crosby. Oh, Mr. Crosby. Don't you think we'd better leave the past behind? Are you sure we should revive this old 1930 child? We could maybe trace the history of mankind. Oh, Mr. Mercer. Professor Mercer. Call me time. There's a brand new generation, and for them, I suppose we should review what we youngsters used to do. Auntie Bellum, Mr. Crosby. Auntie Elvis, Mr. M. Say, you remember when I was a bird? A molten little. Mr. Meadowlark, I've got an awful lot of serenade to do. I'm with you, too. Oh, Mr. Meadowlark, I'm just a city slicker, and I'm counting on you. Uh, I'll sing a few. She's got a country bird who whistles. My whistle is thin. Well, fill me in. So when I begin, that's where you come in. That'll get it. The scene changes now, ladies and gentlemen. Night falls on our two characters, and they're out at the trysting place. Spoon and Spark with Meadowlark. Oh, Mr. Meadowlark, we're gathered here to witness this momentous Event. Well, I hope it is. Say, this is a charming little park. Paid for by the city. Oh, brother, you're a cinch, because when I send them, they're sent. You mean you're ready? Well, I'm ready as I can. Suppose I hit a real good riffle. Well, whistle me a whizzer. You know what I'll do, son? What's that? I'll hit you with a fin. Well, that ain't birdseed. Now when I begin. Hey, that's where I come in. Pretty now. <laughs> Mr. Meadowlark, I guess you know that clinker. Put the quietus on me. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, but needless to remark, I hope you know you put me in a practically impossible key. I'll tell the Audubon Society. Oh, man, and if they squawk, then you gonna have to square it. Square it, I'll tell them you were tight as a tick. Your bird side was, <laughs> bird seed was in the bird. I'll get on my mark. Yes, Mr. Meadowlark. Good, Good night. night. <laughs> See, that gives you twins, doesn't oh, it, Oh, it does press the old memory button. Yeah. Oh, it was good, Johnny, to stand in front of this old microphone like we're doing now and sort of, sort of cup your ear, you know? Say, why did we cup our ears? No one ever knew. One of the mysteries of radio, like, like what's a Lemac? And why didn't Dr. Brent ever report the surgery? Well, he couldn't hear the call. He had his hand over his ear. <laughs> Yeah, it was an era of teams, too, Bing. That's right, yeah. Merton Marge, mm -hmm. Vic and Sade, yeah. Lum and Abner. Stoop Nagel and Bud. Yeah. Don't forget Dr. IQ with that lady up in the balcony. <laughs> oh, the power of radio was staggering. Just think of it. Two fellas like us, yeah. ears at the ready, yeah. talking through this little hot plate, yeah. and our voices being carried through miles of cables and transmitters out into the air. Yeah, so that millions of people all over the country could reach out for that dial and turn us off. I can still hear the clicking. I think I heard a couple go just then. Well, we better get going then before it starts to All sound right. like popcorn around here. <laughs> On behalf of the visiting fireman from Kansas City, let's have a smile on peace. On behalf of the gentleman slicked up and looking pretty, let's make it two or three. Just as the governor of Carolina North told the governor of Carolina South on behalf of the visiting fireman from any city, let's have a smile on me. Oh, Mr.
Mr. Crosby. Oh, Mr. Crosby, it's been groovy singing of the days gone by. Yes, Herbert Hoover got his kick. Say, is it true that you knew Big John? I thought I taught you not to cry. Oh, but Mr. Crosby, yeah, Mr. Mercer, let us exit with a witty apothem. Like, uh, don't forget to play the game. Oh, see you in the Hall of Fame. Oh.